All right, guys, so as everybody knows, Super Bowl is this Sunday, the big game. And if you haven't seen me on Home and Family, where I make my famous, quotes around famous because they're not really that famous, turkey meatballs with buffalo sauce at the end, you love them, right? I love them. Do you love them, love them? I love them. I love to dip them in. <laughs> We're going to get to all that. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. If you haven't seen Home and Family, check this out. Kitchen with our fourth finalist from our home and family best home cook contest. Ow. Please welcome to our home, Jeff Schroeder. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very excited to be here. Very excited to be here. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Okay. okay, well, today you're making one of your game day favorites, oh, right. which is meatballs, but you're making it healthier. Oh, oh I like that. Oh, those oh yeah, you get, at home? you get validation around here all the time. Oh, I love that. I love that. Beautiful. Let me move this out of the way. That is gorgeous. There you go. So you put them in the oven for about five to seven more minutes to cook them all the way through. We became friends first. We fell in love and got married. And now we're starting a family together. All right, guys, so I'm going to get right into it. First, you want to make sure your hands are clean. Make sure these paws are clean, right, love? Yes. Because what does grandma always say? Nobody likes a dirty dog. <laughs> My, so cheesy. Whose grandma's? I'm, I'm, honestly, my grandma never even said that. My grandma never says that. I don't know where I got that one from, but I thought every cooking show you need like a catch line. So ours is gonna be clean those paws. Nobody likes a dirty dog. Anyways, are your paws clean? As clean as they're gonna be. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is mix this all up with my hands, make sure you wash your paws because grandma always says nobody likes a dirty dog. So go ahead, get on in there, mix this thing up, and then I'll show you what to do next. This is real simple. Take these, roll them, into, roll them up into little balls like this, have a greased cooking sheet, and just put them right on there. And just do that with all of them. All right, so Jordan's finally done feeding Lawson. I wanted her in the beginning of this, but we had to get it going. So she's helping me roll these meatballs because it does take a while. That's pretty good. Do you know how to roll a meatball? No. Nope. I'm just patting it and making it look soft like you did. Yeah, just make it like about a golf ball size. Okay. And just keep going like that so the meat like sticks together. So when you fry them, because I'm going to fry these a little bit. Not fry, saute so the ends get a little dark, you know? So I like to put mine in some oil. Oh, we'll get to that next. I'm an Italian, making a meatball. I'm glad you came in to, <laughs> to this segment. I'm making a meatball. Usually I like to cook by myself, but I thought for the video I'd have her in here, and uh, apparently that's what we needed. All right, we're gonna finish making these, and when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to saute them, not fry them, saute them. Okay, cool, so we got all of our meatballs rolled up, and like I said, you could put them right in the oven if you want, 400 degree oven, put them in there maybe 25 minutes, I would say, until the center is not pink anymore. You do not want that pink, especially with turkey and stuff like that. Me, I like to saute them just a little bit. It's not gonna add a little fat. I did the exact same thing on Home and Family. So all you do is put them in here. Make sure your oil's a little hotter than this. These aren't bad, love. You make good meatballs. So what I'm going to do now is just brownies a little bit on each side, all of them, and put them back on the pan, and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, so I just took a little bit of vegetable oil, put it in the pan, lightly sauteed these. I like my meatballs with a little bit of a crisp. Do you? Yes. Yeah, I like a little crispy on there. So for me, like I said earlier, if you want them, if you don't want the crisp, just put them in there, like I said, 25 minutes until the pink's out. Now that I already cooked them, they're a little bit cooked, but maybe 10, 15 more minutes in a 400 degree oven. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, when I cook, I always like to clean as I go, right? Yes. I don't like a messy kitchen, so try to keep it as clean as you can. And then I go back over and then I put my OCD finishing touches on it. Yeah, she does. <laughs> All right, so buffalo sauce, because these are buffalo chicken, uh, buffalo turkey meatballs. You guys know what's in buffalo sauce? You know how to make buffalo sauce? Do you? Do I know how to make it? Yeah. No. Okay, buffalo sauce is butter and hot sauce. That's buffalo sauce. That that's is? it. Yeah, that's it. That's why it's so good. Yeah, because it's butter. butter. So I'm not using a lot of butter. I mean, obviously, the more butter you use, 
the better. The better it's gonna be. So just take this. I mean, I'm really doing this for the purpose of you guys, and just and get crazy with the hot sauce. Here, take the top off. <laughs> for real. And then just go crazy in there, you know? So the ratio you guys want to use is up to you. You want it, you know, better flavor. Probably Jordan wants a better flavor. Use more butter, right? He gets mad because he'll make uh, chicken, he'll marinate it, and then I take barbecue sauce and just like dip it. <laughs> and he's like, that was a good chicken. I marinated that, and then, I, but I just love to dip. I'm just a dipping Well, these person. are perfect for dipping. And ranch, I love to like dip things with ranch. Okay, speaking of that, because it's perfect. This stuff is the best. This yeah, stuff's is the good. bomb, okay? If you like ranch or blue cheese, I think they have ranch too. This is 35 calories a serving. So this is blue cheese, but it's yogurt blue cheese. So I don't know, does it does it hurt your stomach? You're like dairy crazy. Lactose intolerant? Yeah. No, it doesn't hurt my stomach. Cause is guys, this stuff good? No, that stuff this is stuff's really good. Awesome. And normally I like fattening things. I don't like it if it's like Jeff bought this low fat um, jelly. And I was like, this tastes like jello. It doesn't taste like a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> Well, you know what? In a later that. episode, uh, after I make some filet mignon and some turkey meatballs, Jordan's gonna show you to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with Look. real, with real good uh, smuckers. Wait, guys! Oh, and boy. he got mad today. We were at Costco's, and he goes, "What are you doing? We have jelly." I go, "I threw away your gross jelly." And I go, "This is my smuckers. It's sugary. It's fattening, and it's oh so good." <laughs> well, first of all, I don't even eat that jelly stuff. I got the jelly for her because I'm trying to be nice because she likes peanut butter and jelly. Well, that's why... Hey, try this because it's... That's why you're so sweet. Watch out, it's hot. Like, spicy and really hot. Well, why don't you try it, honey? <laughs> 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 it's spicy. It probably needs a little bit more butter, but I'm not putting any more butter. All right, cool. All right, guys, it's only been like seven or eight minutes, but if you want, check these out and just give them a turn because the the bottoms are going to get brown in here on their own, even though we browned them in the beginning. So I'm just giving them a quick turn. I'll pop some of these out, and then they should be ready in like five to seven minutes. You ready for these meatballs? I am. I'll be your tester. All right, cool. We're about to pop these things out. Are they, uh, they're going to be ready to eat? Okay, cool. We're about to pop these things out. Did you get like, follow my lead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I think they're ready. It's been about 15 minutes. I don't know, they look good to me, right? Look. Let me get these out of there. Hmm. If you're cooking at home, <clears throat> always shut off your oven. How many times do I leave the oven on, love? A lot. I always do. I don't know why. Anyways, you guys can worry about that. So they're all good. I'll pop one open for you guys just to show you what they look like. So it's nice and crisp. Boom. Just make sure it's not pink on the inside, that's all. So boom, those are good to go. I'm gonna pop these all in here. All right, so I put a couple meatballs in here with the buffalo sauce. I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Save some for the rest of those. Mix those up. You ready, love, for the finished product? Yeah, I'm ready to eat. And this is that, I put this yogurt blue cheese. You guys can put blue cheese ranch, whatever you guys want. I got this yogurt blue cheese from the store that's 35 calories. It tastes awesome and it makes it low-cal, so it's perfect. So I'll put a couple of these out for you, love. Does that look good? Hi, baby. Uh, yes, very good. Lawson wants some meatballs. Those All right, do look try really those good. bad boys. How hot's this hot sauce? It's not too it's a little spicy. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, good. There's steam coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Is it hot? <laughs> but are they good? Oh, good. What would you change? If you could add something, what would you add? Mm -hmm. I think they're fine. That's too hot. They're really hot, though. <laughs> the sauce is really hot. If you like. They're too spicy? He doesn't like too much spice. All right, guys, this is it. Game day. Chicken meatballs with buffalo sauce. Add whatever you want. You like celery, you like carrots, you like blue cheese. Put whatever you guys want in there. This is how I make mine. If you guys like it, we'll put the recipe up too. But I hope you guys had fun cooking with us today. Now we're gonna get busy eating these meatballs. Make sure to subscribe to Jeff and Jordan TV if you haven't. Tell a friend, and we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Buon appetito. Very Italian, huh? My <laughs> wife, very Italian. <laughs>
we were going? Yep. Where's the broiler? Down there. What do you broil in there? I don't know. You do it when you make it like crustier. I don't know how you guys. Uh, do it again. Lawson, we're making meatballs. Oh, I haven't even done anything. Grandma like. doesn't like a dirty dog in the kitchen. All right, let's yeah. here wash this off. But then you want to cook them all the way to the center. Good thing he's cooking, not me. I'm just saying, fried is good. I can cook and bake ziti, and I can cook a tombstone pizza. I washed my hands when I got home because me and him went on a walk, so I washed my hands. And no, eggs. Oh, eggs. That's what I'm going to do. I know how to make eggs. Ready? Yeah. See, I'm teaching her while I'm teaching you guys so everybody learns. Who do you like in the Super Bowl? I'm going to go for Atlanta Falcons. I'm going for the underdogs. And two, Atlanta's right by Charlotte, so that's why. So, not only do you learn how to cook, you learn a little geography as well, huh? It's all around. Put it on the list. Eggs and peanut butter and jelly. Coming soon on Jeff and Jordan TV <laughs> from Jordan.